Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the food experience. Today's food experience, I received a Santoku knife from Nakano Knives. First, I want to give them a big shout out and thank you for sending this knife my way for review purposes. You could do most anything with this knife. It's a great multi-purpose knife. It features a seven inch blade, with a Meta Sequoia handle. Features a very extremely sharp, high carbon steel blade, super lightweight knife. Comes in at around 108 grams, I weighed it myself. It comes to you all the way from Seki, Japan. On one side of the blade, you'll see Nakano, and the other side is the Japanese translation. And without further ado, I'm gonna take you close up and slice and cut and chop and dice and mince a few different things. I don't have the best knife skills in the world, I will admit to that, but, I've definitely come a long way since I started cooking a few years ago, you know? So um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. And without further ado, here we go. Let's unbox the Santoku knife from Nakano Knives. And it comes with some literature about basic care. And wow, look at that blade. It is so sharp and so super thin, very lightweight. And here we go with some green onions. I'm not the best chopper in the world, but I get by. And scoop them up, put them into the bowl. And that's what I like about having a knife with a rather thick blade. Next up is Serrano peppers. And I'm basically doing all of these things for a fried rice that I'm making. But yeah, those cut so nice and thin. Next up, garlic. I like to make a few slits and then cut across when I'm trying to do some mincing because it just makes the next operation a lot quicker. I mean, you don't have to cut it in such small pieces. You could just do this operation a bunch of times. But why do it a bunch of times when you could only need to do it once? And it works so good with that knife. Next up, a yellow onion. And it was a little bit tougher because of the lightweightness of the knife. But nonetheless, it still powered through it, no problem. Just had to apply a little bit more pressure. But cuts nice through it half going across and then I make my slits and I'm going for you know a small to medium type dice here and it just right straight down it just cuts right through it I really did not use much pressure there at all and the bacon wow just cuts through it like butter it's nothing at all and that's I think four strips of bacon or something like that stacked up worked really well lastly is a chicken breast and it worked really decent for it as well have to get used to the knife a little bit but it just glides right through it like nobody's business and I'm cutting into small portions. Like I said, I'm making a um, chicken fried rice dish. And really, that's it. I'll see you guys back up top. Welcome back, everybody. That was a close-up look of the Wooden Series Santoku Knife from Nakano Knives. As far as the pros and cons go, we'll go over the cons first. There's really not much anything. Um, the only gripe I have is that the blade only goes about halfway down the handle here. I really wish the blade went all the way back through and that there were three rivets, okay? Um, for a couple reasons. One is durability. Although I don't doubt the durableness of this, durableness, is that a word? <laughs> of this handle and the knife. I mean, it's been working great. I've been using it a couple weeks, but um, I think it would add to the weight. It is a very lightweight knife. And just to get some little back weight there, I think would be nice. But on the flip side of this, this is their entry level Santoku knife. They make three different Santoku knives. You may want to check them out on their site. And um, yeah, this is just a good starting point for beginners. 
that want to send Toku knife that don't want to break the bank. I really am impressed with the sharpness of the knife you saw in the up and close. It just slices and glides through everything. In fact, I even took it to my local taqueria where I go almost every day for lunch and they used it on some radishes there and they were quite impressed as well. It has an easy to grip Western style handle. It really never gets tired to hold on to. You know, when you grip a knife, you want to put one finger around it and down like that and your thumb against it to kind of stabilize it. And um, I feel it fits really nice, has a nice feel. As I mentioned, it is a very lightweight knife. I prefer something a little heavier, but nonetheless, this isn't bad either. I mean, I've been using it for pretty much everything. Um, ever since I got the knife a couple of weeks ago, I chop, I dice, I cut a bunch of different things, okay? And when I was done with all my sample videos for this, I kept using it instead of going for my other preferred knife, which is a Nakiri knife. That one's a lot heavier. Um, I don't know. This feels really nice. I'd like to see their Nakiri knife. I know they make one and I just bet it's going to be top quality. Right now I noticed it's on sale for $55. Looks like the normal asking price is $75. However, wait, stop. Don't go anywhere folks because they provided a link to their site for you guys, my subscribers of the food experience. So don't forget to look in my description. I will have a link back to their site, a customized link. So that way when you shop using that link, they know it came from traffic on my site. And in addition to that, there's also a code to save you additional money. I did kind of a fake checkout just to see if my code worked and it does. It brings it down to $44. That's $11 off the already low price of $55. Totally worth it for $44. It's a link that will take you to their home page. It doesn't take you to the product page for this, but once you get to their site, use the little magnifier search and type in wooden and you'll easily be able to find this. But they have a wide variety of other knives to choose from as well. So that about sums it up, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of this Sentoku knife wooden series from Nakano Knives. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, drop me a line down below. I love hearing from you. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. I got all kinds of good content coming up. And have a stellar day. Be excellent. And most of all, remember me. I'm KJ Andio, your food experience host with the most. Y'all take care, and I'll see you next time.